Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video and I'm really excited to be doing it. And if any of you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if any of you can relate to anything I'm going to say in this video, please comment below. I would love to hear what you have to say. Okay, so today uh, I want to talk about a few things that make me weird from others. Uh, if there's anyone out there who thinks, you know what, this is me. If anyone thinks that, please, please do comment. I would love to hear uh, how similar we are. Okay, so number one, I can make myself eat anything. I can make myself eat the worst food and not even know how it tastes. Like I can eat this chocolate and convince myself that this chocolate is actually spicy. I can do it. It's a true story. I'm not bluffing. I'm not bluffing. This is true. I can eat my mother's chicken curry and convince myself it's not sweet enough. I can eat rancid spoiled chicken and still not realize it doesn't taste good. This is a very unique trait in me because none of my friends seem to possess it. And um, I remember there was this one time when we went to the cafeteria and all my friends were like, um, there's no salt. And I was like, I was in my own world. So I didn't even realize that there was no salt and I was eating it like normal. And at the end of the meal, my friends were like, how was the food? And I'm like, it was pretty good. And then my friends are like, okay, this is just plain weird. How can you not know that something didn't have salt? I don't know how I am not able to understand or how I'm not able to uh, how I'm able to eat, but I can just do it. I can just convince myself that anything and everything tastes good or I can convince myself that nothing tastes good. And I can eat almost anything irrespective of uh, how much chilies it has or how much chilies it doesn't have. I can eat the spiciest food. I can eat the blandest food. I can eat anything. So this is one really weird thing about me. Uh, okay, so the next weird thing about me. I still do not know which is left and which is right. Okay, this is weird this is very weird because if somebody comes and asks me for a direction uh, if they say okay fine uh, tell me where this place is i would be like go straight and take a right or a left uh and then i'll be like okay give me a second because i need two seconds to process if this is my right hand or this is my left hand and how do you think i process it i write and i check if this seems to be right if i feel this is comfortable then this is my right hand if this does not seem to be comfortable, then this is my left hand. So this is how I know right and left. And it's very problematic when I'm giving directions when I'm traveling. Because I need time. I need time to process if this is right or left. And uh, there are many times when I've told my cab driver, please take a right, a right, a right. And uh, he'd be like, madam, that's a left. And there are many times when the cab driver also hasn't realized I am pointing him the wrong direction and I've landed up in a completely new place. Uh, yeah, it's been a fiasco, but okay, this is just weird, right? Isn't it weird? Like someone who's 25 years old still doesn't know right or left, but that's me. I don't know right or left still. Okay, so the number three weird thing about me, I talk to myself all the time. This is true. This is true. So if you ever see me in company, okay, um, so this happens at work all the time. So my friends will all be working and then they'll suddenly hear this voice saying, you know what, that doesn't work, you know, yeah, actually, I'll tell you what, okay, this guy, he told me this, and it didn't work out, and then my friends will be like, where is this voice coming from, is this bay haunted, is there like a ghost here, and they'll, pe they'll look all around for the supposed ghost, and then they'll find me in my cubicle, talking to myself, I'd be like, I'd be talking to an imaginary person, and I would be like, hey, nice shirt, not bad, that's cute, that's really cute, yeah, and then I'll turn and I'll see all my friends standing there. And that will be like the most embarrassing moment of my life. But this happens to me all the time. And if you ever see me in company, you would really think I'm mentally deranged. Like there have been random strangers who approach me and they're like, uh, are you sure you're okay? Because uh, you don't seem to be okay. And I'll be like, I'm totally okay. Why do I not seem to be okay? They were like, no, you were talking to thin air. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, I was actually singing to myself, you know, singing, singing, yeah. And I don't know how many people got convinced, but uh, I think I've convinced a lot of people that I'm mentally not normal. But I am mentally totally normal. It's just that I love talking to myself and I love my own company so much. And I love my own imaginary world, my the world that I fantasize about. And I have to talk to my characters, the characters that I've created. So this is exactly why I talk, but people find it very weird. 
if you don't find it weird please let me know because i would love to know that i'm actually mentally normal okay the next weird thing about me i cannot sleep without my bed sheet okay this bed sheet right here okay this bed sheet right here this is my best friend he has been my friend from the time i was a baby i remember every time my mom would scold me i would come back to my room and i would be like oh you're the only friend that i have there's nobody else for me i love you okay this bed sheet has been my all in all he's been my consoler he's been my best friend he's been my confidant he's been my i don't know what else anything a human being can do this bitch it has done it all for me okay i am totally normal i am not weird i'm not mad but it's just um it's just a kind of comfort that i've had from the time i was a kid and um, this bitch's name is bantu right here so everyone please say hi to bantu this is my bantu and uh, he always been there for me when humans have not been there for me he's been there for me okay so the next we are thing this also concerns my bitch sheet i cannot sleep without smelling my bitch sheet Okay, I have to actually smell my bed sheet. Ah, the smell relaxes me. So at the end of a really hectic and tiring day, I come home exhausted. And the relief that I need is not sleep. I just take my bed sheet and I smell it. And this smell relaxes me. There's no better therapy than smelling my bed sheet. And the dirtier the bed sheet, the better it smells. I hate the smell of a newly washed bed sheet. so i try to postpone washing my bed sheet as much as possible so that i can smell it now and then okay if anyone anybody out there has this uh, habit please 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 do do comment because um so far i have not met a single person who is even willing to consider that as normal but i am totally normal i i keep saying that again and again in the hope that i'll convince myself that i'm normal but anyway if anyone has this habit please let me know i would really love to know all about you Okay, I think uh, I wanted to make a video for just five minutes, but then I made for seven minutes. Okay, fine. I'll just add one more weird fact about me. I still cannot draw a straight line. I'm an engineering graduate, and I cannot draw a straight line. So the only way I know to determine if a line is straight is by measuring the distance between the line I've drawn and the margin. And I measure the distance at different intervals of the page to ensure that the distance is the same throughout. That is the only way I will know if a line is straight or not. I have done engineering drawing. Uh, I'm an aerospace engineer, which means I've had to draw and I've done geometry and all kinds of crap, and I still cannot draw a straight line. That's me. Imagine that. That's totally me. I cannot draw a straight line, whether it's horizontal or vertical. To me, this line, this line, this line, all looks the same. They all look straight to me, and uh, the only way, as I told you, I can find out is by measuring the distance. Okay, so this is just me. Um I don't know how many of you found me weird but if you did find me weird please comment below and if any of you uh think this is not weird please comment below as well don't forget to like this video and subscribe I will be making more videos soon and I promise I'll get a better camera and I'll start shooting better videos I know this is not good enough but I will definitely make improvements thank you so much for watching I love you bye bye